Now, your Storm Tracker forecast, live from the Curtis Lumber Trex Weather Deck. Hey there, folks. Here is a live look at the weather deck here at News 10 HQ in beautiful Albany, New York. Beautiful with the snow coming on down. Maybe not too beautiful to be out on the roads in these conditions, though. Hey, welcome back into studio. I've got your live look at Cheshire, Massachusetts. Isn't that crazy? how intensely it's snowing out there. We're very worried about visibility because even though in some spots it's really just now picking up, there might not be a ton on the ground in many valley locations. You're not going to be able to see too far driving down the road. Hey, I've got a roundup at snow totals from across the area. Viewers have been great getting us these measurements from social media via email. We really appreciate all you guys have done this morning. The town of Day, now higher elevation, Saratoga County is leading the way at nine inches. Austerlitz, we got an update eight inches there. Knox and Broome and Westerlo are all at seven inches. Delanson also just over a half a foot. Gilboa in southern Schoharie County, 6.5. Hancock, Massachusetts, six inches. Highest total we've got out of the Bay State so far. DeFreitsville and Corinth both at four. Then you start to see your lower end totals. New Scotland, 3.6. Pittsfield only at 2.5 so far, but again, those numbers will pick up. We have one inch at Troy and Buzzkirk and Steventown. Did you know that 135 years ago to the day, Albany was in the midst of its biggest all-time snowfall on record? 46.7 inches. This is a weather map from back in the day, right? Pretty cool. Big area of low pressure right off the coast of Long Island. I'm not saying that this storm is going to rival it in terms of snowfall, but it just goes to show. March is when we can and do get our biggest storms. Ryan? 